Hey everybody, this is Luke, another drawing lesson. Today we're going to cover drawing faces, drawing heads. Tomorrow we're going to break into the skull, but for right now this is a, a simple approach to get you off the ground. Decker, Kathy Kalowitz, Nikolai Fetchin, Anthony Van Dyke, Peter Paul Rubens, Norman Rockwell, David Levine, Milk Call, Milk Call again, and Carter Goodrich. I drawing just rounded shaped heads. They can just go any direction you like. Remember to put in the cross contours. See how I draw that mask? It's a big deal, it helps a lot. So first we were doing some rounded heads and now we're doing some square heads. And here's just a little bit, taking that just a little bit further. I got the mask going around. I got the cross contour, which the center line, which gives me the placement of the nose. Playing with some expressions, just trying to have some fun. So this is just a just a kind of old-fashioned diagram having a look at look if you're thinking about the front of the face and the side of the face and the back of the head So a typical place to start is with the eyes we get up in the center how the ears relate to the placement of the nose and the eyes and the eyebrows. It's all kind of one unit there. So see how I'm just carrying my measurements over? You can see how the side of the head is constructed. And there's the back of the head. See how the back of the head is at about at the level of the nose? The back of the skull is about at the level of the nose. All right, let's break into some features. Starting with the nose. In each of these features, I'm going to start out by introducing, showing you guys what the 
what the essential volume is. Because that's the part we need to pay attention to when we're drawing. It's not that we want to draw weird cutout, like wood, wooden looking cutout things. But it is that diagram that is so useful to us as drafts people. just some different profiles of noses, some stuff we might be familiar with or have seen people play with. Now I'm going to go back and deal with them like their volumes. And here's where we start to really sense the characteristic shape. So here's a head shape, kind of like what we were practicing. We're putting a big old Pinocchio nose on him. So this little practice has kind of a few bits going on. It's got it's got the 3D quality of the nose, it's got it standing up, it's got the placement, it's got some basics of its shape. Here's a kind of a hack, using a pear shape as the nose. You see a lot of, a lot of like old timey cartoon artists use a big old pear shape. This is a pear shape also, but it's not as exaggerated. You see me using the mask. Here's a more wedge-shaped head, and there the pear has been kind of whittled down. It's like a perfect little pear from the store. details of a more realistic nose but at the same time you see the underside is essentially like a pear there's the bridge of the nose you have a double bone up in the bridge and then there's the nostrils So I want you guys to understand the, uh, I want you to understand where the, the nostril openings are because it can be kind of confusing. But they're right underneath, right on that plane, on that diagonal plane underneath. Okay, let's talk about ears. So that's like if I had a flat plane for the face and I laid it down, those two guys at the end would be ears. So I like to think of the ears as being a kind of broken heart. 
you see how I've got one on one side of the head and the other one on the other side of the head, half of the heart. Here's my pair of nose. So the front of the ear is at halfway through the head, the back of the jaw, the front of the ear. This is like if I'm looking, if I'm up above a person looking down on them. And that would be the shape that the ears would be. They kind of have a triangular wedge-like quality. When you get good in practice at placing the ears, you can use the you can use the placement of the ears to help you build gestures. So see how I'm just moving the ear, but it changes the direction of the face. He's, this model is still turning. See how it's turned like that? You see the back of the ear then and just a tiny bit of the nose. Just getting a little bit more realistic with it. Here's a kind of anatomy, a really basic anatomy. It's funny, I say there are three parts and then I draw four parts for you. Sometimes that guy, people, people say it's like a Y. So you got the inner he helix, the outer helix, the tragus, and then of course the earlobe. So the outer helix, I like to think of it as a ribbon. And then as it gets down lower, it starts catching light. Okay, there's our fourth part. And that gives us the tragus. That's the full 3D tragus. And then the it'll just be a little more rounded. So there's the ribbon, there's the tragus, there's the lobe, and here's the inner helix. into your ear canal.
Okay, hope that works out for you. Here's a little bit about some eyes. So see how the eyes come forward? They have a sort of spherical quality. Notice how the eye on the far side is skinnier. It's not really less tall, it's just skinnier. That's a sort of perspective issue. Like here's a f diagram of a face, so you're looking straight at it, I put a line, a center line in. See how the eyes are just about the same size, but now I'm gonna draw that in perspective. See when I draw it in perspective, how the side that's closer to me is wider? That's just how perspective works. So naturally, the eye on the far side is gonna be skinnier. I, I made it shorter too, which is incorrect. So this is just a way that I've come up with to sketch eyes. So what I do is I make a square for the eyeball and then that's the eyelash coming off of it. And then you see that little leg there? I drop into a point. See how the overall shape, I like to think of it as kind of diamondy. There's the square, there's the lash. So see how easy it is to noodle with that shape? And while I'm doing it, I'm thinking about the sphere that's underneath it. And then I got the nose. I'm drawing the nose, I'm thinking about that pear shape and about the protrusion of it. Even if I'm not drawing it, I'm thinking about it. Okay, here's the mouth.
So again, there's a sort of spherical quality. What we have to think of is really have to think of the dental arch. It's the bony structure that forms the shape of our teeth. Like if you take a bite out of a piece of bread and you think about how that looks. That's that shape right there. You see the way the nose sits on top of the dental arch? responsible for a lot of the shape of the mouth. See that little arrowhead? Pay attention to that little arrowhead that I just did. Okay, so if I'm looking at the face in three-quarter view, you see that arrowhead? And if you looked the other way at the face, you'd have that on the other side. Watch, I'll show you. That's kind of everything I've got for you on a, on a rough draft of the head. But then tomorrow what we're gonna do is we're gonna break into how to draw the skull. And that'll help you, that'll help you refine what we have here. What we have here will work real well for cartoons and a lot of more casual portraiture. But knowing the actual shapes that are on the skull and being able to practice them. It's a very, uh, it's a very lasting lesson. Okay, guys, been another ep another drawing lesson, another episode of Big, Medium, Small. Uh, hope it was helpful. And uh, this is Luke signing out. Hope you have a good one. Talk to you tomorrow with some diagrams, breakdowns, and ideas about how to draw the skull. All right, bye-bye for now.